Hey guys, welcome back to Chasing Infinity. This is Adarsh and uh, today I'll show you how to build a convolutional neural network which can recognize numbers shown using your hands, okay? You can uh, check out my code on GitHub, okay? I'll leave the link in the description. So what I'll do is I'll walk you through the code and explain to you how I did this. So basically we'll be using Keras for building this. Uh, if you want, you can clone this repository and open up the code to follow along. So I'll be using Anaconda and I have the code open inside Spider. Okay. So navigate to wherever you clone the repository and click on this gear icon and select set console working directory. Okay. And now we are set to go. So uh, this this project basically has three parts. Okay, so first is the collect data dot py, uh, with which uh, we'll be collecting the data that is collecting the images uh, to train the neural network. Then we have train dot py, uh, where we have written the machine learning model and we'll be performing the training using this file. Then we have the predict dot py file, which will use the model that we generated in train dot py and use it to make new predictions right let me first show you how uh, i've collected the data so let me run this code i select everything and press Control enter to run so right here you can see we have the mode okay right now it's set to train mode and we have our image count right so these are our categories that is 0 1 2 3 4 5 and these are the number of images in each category okay so what you can do is uh, you can simply put your hand okay so if this is zero then uh, you simply press zero on your keyboard and one image will be added to the zero category right similarly if it's a two you simply press two on your keyboard so basically you show the number and press the corresponding label on your keyboard and using OpenCV, we are taking an image and saving it into the correct folder, right? So I'll show you the folder structure quickly. So uh, inside data, uh, we have test data and train data. Under each of them, we have folders which are named to the corresponding labels. For example, under zero, we have a hundred images, right? That under two, we have another hundred images. So if you want, you can see, yeah. So let me show you the code quickly. So first of all, import numpy, cv2 and os. This part creates the directory structure if it doesn't exist. Now uh, we set the mode to train or test, right? So when you're collecting the training data, set it to train. When you want to collect the testing data, set it to test. And this will be our directory path. So basically whenever you press the corresponding key, it saves the uh, data to this directory, right? whether it's train training or testing then we are capturing the uh, webcam feed uh, using cv2 right so i've initialized the webcam object and video capture zero corresponds to my webcam so if you have multiple webcams then it could be zero one two like that and we are running the loop okay and cap dot read returns two things the first value we don't need the second value is our frame okay which we need all right and if you want uh, you can uh, simulate a mirror image by flipping the frame okay that's optional uh, then i've created a, a dictionary okay which goes through the directories and you know, uh, counts the number of images that we already have yeah so here the printing happens right we are printing on the frame the values corresponding in to each label uh, found in this dictionary so next we define an ROI An ROI stands for the region of interest that is the blue box that you saw okay I am uh, defining the coordinates for it okay it's basically a rectangle so x1 y1 x2 y2 and I'm defining the values based on the size of the frame okay so you can play around with this you can choose any value you want then I'm drawing a rectangle okay using cv2 dot rectangle and this increment and decrement right these plus one and minus one is used to compensate for the bounding box the blue color bounding box or uh, if we don't do this then uh, we can see the bounding box inside the image that we saved so we don't want that next we extract the region of interest from our frame and we resize it into a 64 by 64 image okay that's all we need to perform machine learning 
then we need to show the frame only then you can uh, see what's happening right so next what we'll be doing is we'll convert the uh, 64 by 64 image uh, that is our region of interest into black and white okay so we will be having a matrix with values ranging from 0 to 255 so corresponds to white and 255 corresponds to black right uh, earlier we had an rgb image but to perform machine learning we don't need that we don't, don't need so much data if you want you can do that you can save the rgb image and perform the machine learning on that but here i won't be using it and next what i'm doing is i'm thresholding this uh, black and white image so basically we'll be having a pure black and white image we won't be having any grays so here what i've done is if the value is if the gray value is between 120 and 255 it should be set to 1 or else it should be set to 0 and we are showing that uh, next we'll be uh, checking for the keyboard interrupt this is to capture the uh, input from the keyboard and save the roi into the correct folder right so that's what this section does okay it basically writes the image into the correct directory based on the key that we pressed and if we press the escape key the loop breaks and we release our video object and destroy all windows okay so that's the collect data part now let's see how we can build the convolutional neural network okay so here i'll be using keras to do that so from keras dot models i'm importing sequential and from keras dot layers i'll be importing convolution 2d max pooling 2d flatten and dense okay so first step we'll be building the convolutional neural network okay so i'm using the sequential class to initialize my classifier object okay so uh, this classifier object will will be our neural network and we'll be adding the layers into it so to the classifier we add the first convolution layer okay using this convolution 2d function and 32 will be the number of filters for our convolution and this specifies the size of our convolution window okay so if you don't know what convolution is i'll leave a few links in the description uh, which will explain in detail what convolution is and how it can be used to extract certain features from images okay which will be used in training and later to recognize the images right and this is our input shape yeah input shape is the size of our input okay so this is 64 by 64 by 1 in this case and this is because we have a, a black and white image if you had three channels of rgb then this would be three then we'll be using the activation function relu next we add max pooling to our convolution layer right and we are defining the pool size to be two by two pooling and convolution are related to each other i'll leave links in the description which will explain what those are they basically filter our image and try to extract certain uh, areas or certain features from the filtered image okay that's what they are doing so we are adding our second convolution layer uh, with the same parameters and we don't need to mention the input shape here because it will be different uh, it's going to be the pool feature maps from the previous convolution layer right so basically the previous layer passes on the input shape to the next layer and similarly uh, we are adding uh, another max pooling layer okay so basically after convolution and pooling we'll be left with layers uh, which will be in the form of 2d arrays and what we are doing here is we are converting it into a 1d array right so we are using the flatten function to flatten it so here we are adding the first layer in our neural network okay and it's a fully connected layer so we'll be using the dense function okay and units equal to 128 this is the number of neurons and uh, this will be our output layer so our last layer will be the output layer and it'll have number of units equal to 6 that is the uh, number of classes that we have right our classes are 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 right and we'll be using the activation function softmax for this since we are performing classification so next step is to prepare the training data okay from the data that we have collected okay and this is and this part basically does that okay you can uh, find this here in this link okay so this is from the keras documentation it basically uh, takes in the image 
add some shear to it add some zoom to it so that uh, there is some variety it simply generates the images okay and we mention the training directory and testing directory so what this will do is this will uh, take the images and feed it to the neural network okay so that's all this is just so there's uh, nothing important going on here so next step we are training the model okay we are using the fit generator method to do that and we pass in our training set okay that we obtained here and the steps per epoch okay uh, this will be the number of images in our training set okay that is uh, 100 times 6 uh, 600 images and the number of epochs i've set it to 10 okay you can uh, set it to 20 or 25 if you want you'll have to set this to a larger value if you are training this on rgb images right and validation data that will be our test set okay uh, that we got from here and validation steps okay that is the number of images in test set so i have five images in each category to so six into five is 30 images right so after the training is done uh, i'm saving the model okay as a json file and also saving the weights okay so that's what this does so this model and JS and weights will be loaded into our predict.py file to make the predictions let's go so i'm importing all the libraries that we need here and then i load our model okay uh, this is done using the model from json method in keras.models right then i load our weights into the new model okay and just like in collectdata.py, we need to get a new video capture object and you know display everything. So inside the while loop, we get the frame and we define the coordinates of the ROI and we draw a rectangle. Okay, and we'll be uh, using this rectangle as our input to the model to make predictions. Right, we extract the data from the rectangle and resize it and convert it into black and white and threshold it just like we did in the collectdata.py file this is because to make a prediction uh, the input data to the model has to be similar to the training data so that's why we are doing this inside the result variable we'll be making the prediction so from our model that we loaded into memory in the beginning uh, we are using the predict function to make the prediction and we are reshaping our image into this format okay so basically this is a 64 by 64 image with one channel of color right black and white if it was an rgb image then this would be three and this is the num the batch size right so we have just one image so we are setting the batch size to one then inside this dictionary we have our prediction okay we are storing all our prediction values to display now here i am sorting this dictionary based on the values okay and then i am displaying the prediction on the screen that's all so i hope you guys learned something from this video today and if you did please like and share this to your friends and if you are having any trouble with this or you have any doubts please post them in the comments i'll help you out and you can also contact me through my email in the description and please subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll see you in the next video.